Hey guys, Cutter Up Rob here. Uh, I'm just going to do a video on uh, how to check valve recession, installed stem heights, and piston protrusion. Um, had uh, one of the guys on um, Instagram ask me about it. Yeah, I had uh, Black Smoke 91 on Instagram um, ask me about um, this stuff. So I figured um, I, I get, I'm going to give him the specs anyway so he can check some stuff. But I just wanted to show everybody um, how you check this stuff. If you have engines apart, doing head gaskets, having head work done, um, you really should verify afterwards to make sure you're using the right gasket, all the measurements are correct, um, especially on diesel stuff. And uh, yeah, well, let's get after it. So the two heads that I have... Uh, both of these are just core six four heads actually i don't even know if they're any good yet we haven't really checked into it that far um but this gauge here um it's actually not a horribly expensive kit um made by silver seal i'm sure you can buy other ones so that's the kit just that good. that's the kit for different heights and then that's your standard for set but that's an install stem height gauge. So when you're checking install stem heights, obviously they would usually be clean, but like I said, these are just junk heads. So <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to make sure your, val your valve seal's off so you're actually getting down to the bottom. And basically you want to do that now so I'm starting at um, 100 thou on this. So it's actually come around twice. So it's 220 thou for the installed stem height on this one, or 222 thou. And the one next to it is actually lower. It's uh, 200 and... One ninety-five. Um, so that's how you check installed stem height. Um, obviously, you have to have springs and all that stuff off to do it. Um, so, on this engine, which is just a six-liter Ford, or the heads are off of anyway, um, and that's the engine that we were talking about um, on Instagram. So you can see your installed stem height here, and that's your range. Um, obviously, you want it in the range. You can go out of the range a little bit, depending on a few different factors. But you know, you want to obviously you want to be in here if you can be. Um, so on the one that's too low, um, you know, if you were cutting seats on it, then you'd be too high. So then you cut your valve stem down, um, and then the other ones within spec. So not that it really meant that you know, like I said, on these ones they're junk heads anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, just showing you the process. So that being said. Um, so checking valve recession on these heads, um, your 13 to 27 intake and exhaust. So what I use for checking them is I, I have this gauge, which is a Mishimoto, uh, Mishimoto, uh, Mishitoyo gauge. Um, and then it's just on a steel block. Um, it's actually one of the guys that works for me, but it's uh, super handy. I need to make myself one. Um, now, something else that you can use is you can use this, which is actually for checking um, piston protrusion, um, but you can use it for the same idea. But this one's handy, um, so we'll just use this one because this is the one that I use all the time. So, checking these ones. So, you're supposed to be between 13 and 27. So, on that intake, we're uh, 24 so we're good on that one and 23 on that one so we have to really watch on on six liter stuff um, is obviously if it's had a valve job to make sure the stem height isn't too high I, especially if you have a like you could go a little higher on the stem height problem is is that if you have a big lift camshaft aftermarket camshaft you and your piston protrusion is too high you'll smash pistons um, or indent 
pistons and bend valves. So it's not a good die. Not a good time. Now that's the reason you put them in specs. So lots, like lots of times if I know this is going to get, would get a camshaft, um, you know, if I was building a six liter or six four, we'll put the valves deeper recession into the head to make sure that we don't have that problem. And then we bring the installed stem height back to where it's supposed to be. So, and then usually on the minimum side. So now on cylinder heads, what you have to watch, so you surface this cylinder head, and you guys seen that in another video. You have to check afterwards on a diesel anyway. The gas, there's lots of times it doesn't, like unless you take a whole bunch off, but most of the time it doesn't matter because the piston isn't anywhere near the the uh, the valve. Um, there again, unless it's got bigger camshaft or something different, you know, like on a stock engine I'm talking. Um, but you surface the head, like let's say this head has a six thou warp in it. Well, let's say an eight thou warp from corner to corner. So that means you're going to have to take at least 10 thou off to get this head to, 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 to flatten out. Issue with that is, is if you got 22 thou recession on one of these valves or like these ones, now you're under spec. So the valve is sticking out of the head too much and potentially can hit the piston. So that's the reason that they have specs for that type of stuff. So now there's, um, there is more measurements. Um, there is uh, an injector tip height as well. Um, now that's, you know, as the, th the head gets thinner, the, you know, it's gonna stick out farther. And that's something that should be checked, um, but that needs to be verified by whatever injectors are we putting back into the engine. And um, the other thing is the actual minimum thickness of the cylinder head. So, okay, obviously the proper way to do this is with a micrometer, not a um, set of calipers, but calipers give you an idea on the thickness. So you just measure from, you know, the one side of the head to the other. And on this one, you're three inch, 700 and 44 thou. So there's still quite a bit to go because that's your minimum thickness right there. So, you know, if you're getting close to that minimum thickness, let's say you were like 730, um, you know, I would use a set of, of uh, micrometers to check it. But that gives you, you know, set of calipers gives you a general idea for sure. Um, what else did, we, oh, I wanted to do piston protrusion. So piston protrusion on that, on, on a six liter is 25 to 35. Um, so I don't have a six liter here, but I happen to have Cummins. So the process is the same, obviously different engine, but process is the same. So to check piston protrusion, now we usually check it before we put the rings in. So the piston actually kind of flops around in there. You can see it moves a little bit. So what you want to do is you pull the piston all the way to one side, as long as you're up at, up at top. Um, and then you measure it there. And then you rack the piston to the other side, you measure it there, pretty close to the same on these ones anyway. Pretty close to the same on this one anyway. And then obviously you want to check the gauge to make sure your gauge is zero every time you move it. But that's as easy as it is, is you just check it from this side to this side. If it's the same, then obviously you don't have to. If it's a little bit different from side to side, just take both of them, add them and then divide them, which gives you the average. Um, and if you're getting into the average on the high side, um, then, you know, usually I say if you're, if you're three, four thou lower than your highest, you, it's not a huge deal. Um, and you start getting into the high point, then yeah, you can have something to be concerned about. But they don't usually hit even when they're on the high side, but I like to be better safe than sorry. Um, and then on, um, like on a Cummins, we check all of them. But if you were, you know, the engine was just in a, in the truck and you were checking to make sure what you had um, or checking for a failure or whatever it may be, um, you want to check front and back on both banks. So that way you have an idea. You could check all eight if you really wanted to. 
Something else that also tells you, um, which is handy, is if you check them, one that's 10 thou low, let's say, well, 10 thou low means there's something wrong. Whether you have a bearing problem, bent connecting rod, um, you know, that's a, an easy way to tell whether you have something wrong with the engine. Even if the engine was running relatively well, it gives you an idea what's going on. Um, so that's just a quick rundown of, of how we do stuff. Um, but that is something like you're doing a head gaskets on a diesel. You should be checking piston protrusion. You should be checking valve uh, recession. Um, you know, if you don't have specs, Usually you can find specs on, you know, on Google or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, you can hit me up, hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to, to get any specs that you guys need. If I don't have them um, right handy, I can get them within a couple days for you. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.